I wish I could sleep. Yeah. What have you been doing all night? I've, uh, I've been keeping pretty busy. What about you? This is Akihabara, better known as Electric Town, the battery-operated heart that powers the city of Tokyo. From hardware to software and everything in between, it's the largest selection of electronics available anywhere on the planet. And we're buying it all. Sweet. The future starts now. We are TV's only source for all the stuff you care about. What's up, everyone? I am Olivia Mon, and we are here in Tokyo, Japan. That's right. I'm Kevin Pereira. More specifically, <laughs> we come to you from Akihabara. Now, you can party down to Electric Avenue all you want, but we're going to be chilling here in this electronic town. Yeah. Take out Times Square, mm -hmm. the Piccadilly Circus, that Indian restaurant you go to when you're stoned. Magnify that by 10. And then you're going to get the idea of the wattage we are talking about right here in this town. That's right, but you can't stare directly at the lights. You gotta save that ocular energy because we're coming to you from this island all week long and a typhoon can hit at any time, really. That's right. Now, uh, I gotta stop you for a second because I just, something just doesn't feel right. It's a disturbance in the force? No, I don't even know what that means, but I was talking about this, this feeling. I don't feel nauseous right now. I feel kind of healthy. I get what you're saying. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it feels like it's time for a... Good morning, Yes, this is the part of the show where we test the delicate inner linings of our stomach by tasting some Japanese cuisine. Yeah. Very special gross out for you today, my friends. It's a fish and cheese edition. Yeah, now, I know you so like gross. I know you like the Altadena. And I said, can I get some cottage cheese? They actually gave me cod cheese. Close yeah. enough, though. I think it's going to be very close. <laughs> well, you know what? What you have to eat today, Kevin, is a, um, a, a fish paste combined with cheese stuck into like a uh, like a plastic wrapper thing. I think you have to break through it. That looks like a fermented Slim Jim. That's disgusting. I know. All snap right. into it. I don't want to snap into it. You snap into it. No, this and I'll is yours. Some sticks. Well, no, yeah, okay, let's get it open. Wait, though. Let's okay. do this. Uh, that means I have to bite into this. Looks like brie and smells like a brie that I knew once, actually. That is not healthy. Okay, I can't. You have to bite it because okay. I refuse to do that. All right, here we go. Can you open it? Let's do it. Yeah, I think you're supposed to rip oh. on this little red tab. And, uh, all right. Oh, oh. It smells really bad. Oh, it just winked at me. <laughs> oh. That's not right. You ready? Come by. Come by. Oh, God. <laughs> is this, this is going to be the same segment every single day of the week because this is disgusting. I can feel like in the back of my tooth. All right, you guys. Um, now that we got you guys all warmed up, we're going to go ahead and show you these sights right here in uh, Akihabara. Prepare to go around the district. Kevin, get the <laughs> If it needs batteries, plugs in and carries an electric current, we guarantee that you can find it in Akihabara. From light bulbs to flash RAM to computers, phones and cameras, the seemingly endless shops of the district are packed with enough hardware to make a true geek squeal. Japanese nerds or fanboys known as otaku flood the streets here looking for the latest gear and games. Now the word otaku, just like nerd or geek in the US, can have a positive or negative meaning depending on how it's used. And we do know how otaku love their toys and collectibles. Also, Bit City is an amazing three-building, five-story toy store specialing in action figures of the hottest anime characters, mech robots, and so much more. 
But it's not all shopping in Akihabara, and otaku has got to blow off a little steam and some yen. While the other districts of Tokyo are known for style, scene, and music, Akihabara is all about the substance, the latest technology, the coolest anime, and the hottest games. Arcades are huge here in Tokyo, but don't just think Pac-Man and Dance Dance Revolution. No, no, we're talking in a completely different kind of arcade revolution, and it's happening at Club Sega, which happens to be one of my favorite stops in Akihabara. Let's go. Now, you know, back in the States, the arcades used to be all the rage, but that was when wearing acid wash jeans was totally radical. <laughs> Thankfully, in Japan, that's not the case at all. Nope, the arcade is alive and well here in Tokyo, and there is no better example for it than right here in Akihabara at Sega Land. It is five stories of pure gaming goodness where people don't just play, they compete in everything from fighting games to eight person soccer. That's right, and I got some yen that's burning a hole in my panties. Let's play. This is the next generation of card games. You buy packs of cards, but then these cards can be read on this platform. So you plop down your card, you move it around, the game reflects the position of the cards. You can even combine them. So I can take a mech and a pilot, put them together, and build the ultimate battling machine. Oh, I love Ghost Squad! The thing is, we have these gun games back in America. I don't see what the big deal is. Olivia. You realize only in Japan are you gonna find a hot Asian woman rocking leopard heels and blowing people away with an assault rifle. That is why I love Sega Land. I pumped like 4,000 yen into it. 4,000? This, this is my baby, this is my baby. All right, you guys, if you are jonesing for the ultimate gaming experience, you have to come to our favorite place, Sega Land in Akihabara. Kevin, are you getting it? Come on, Caspar! Oh my gosh, we're so close! Come on, Caspar! Oh! No! I need more yen. I need more yen. Ah. Gotta be honest, we're feeling a little lonely here in Tokyo. Yeah. We want you to hang out. We want you to be part of our show. and. That's why it's time for a little happy chat. You guys have been asking and we are ready to answer. What's up with Japan? First up, we've got Pat from Iowa. What's the most ridiculous gadgets you've come across in Japan? They've got these crazy seats that look like you're on a rodeo. They're like little horses and you just go like this all day long. I don't, like, don't get me wrong, they, they put my flag at half mast, but I don't know, what's the point? <laughs> Have you seen people sitting on them and why? I know, and they're just at bars and people just ride the rodeo. Yeah. So folks, if you've got a question, send it in. Remember, there's no such thing as a dumb question. There are just stupid people that ask dumb questions. <laughs> I think that's how it works. I think that's exactly Head how it works. Head on over to g4tv.com slash video voicemail. If we answer yours, you're gonna get a swanky attack of the show t-shirt. You'll be the envy of all your nerd friends. <laughs> that's true. Now, Japan is the technological capital of the entire world. Just walking around, you can see how integrated the gadgets are into people's everyday lives. I, I'm still jealous. Cell phones that can go widescreen and get high-def television? Live TV? Not fair. Unbelievable. Now, uh, we want to know what you guys think. What amazing, cool Japanese tech gadget do we have over here that we don't have back in the States? You guys vote on our website, g4tv.com slash Tokyo, or of course you can text your vote to G4TXT, that is 44898, to vote and register for AOTS Live News Alerts. Now keep those speed lines in check, Racer X. There's plenty more attack in the show coming to you from Tokyo right after this. Akihabara is electric town, and Will's found his nirvana. Now make love to the camera. And from the creepy to the magical, we've got the best Japanese cinema on DVD's Day. 